Hello my dear friends, welcome to Java programming playlist. In this video, we are going to see dynamic method dispatch in Java programming. That means we are going to see how a method is dispatched dynamically that is at the runtime. Let us start introducing this. What is dynamic method? So dynamic method dispatch is also known as a runtime polymorphism. That means here we are going to see the concept of polymorphism where there are two methods with the same name and the execution of this method is decided runtime. It is the process through which a call to an overridden method is resolved at the runtime. So when we are talking about overridden, that means you will find that there are methods which is there in the subclass and also in the superclass and which method is to be executed is decided at the runtime. This technique is used to resolve a call to an overridden method at runtime rather than at the compile time. So it is not done at the compile time. Hence the name is dynamic. To properly understand dynamic method dispatch in Java, it is important to understand the concept of upcasting method because dynamic method dispatch is based on the upcasting. So here we are going to first see the concept of upcasting. We know that how we can do a casting of one data type to another data type. But here we are doing a casting in the upper direction. Now let us see what is upcasting. It is a technique in which a superclass reference variable refers to the object of the subclass. That means we will create an object of the superclass, but its reference will be that of the subclass or here we can say the parent class is referring to the child class. Generally what we have seen in the context of inheritance that a child class refers to a parent class but here it is the other direction. Here we can see that there is a class animal and there is another class dog which extends animal. So that means the animal is the super class and dog is the subclass. And what we are doing here is animal A, that means we are creating an object of a super class, which is animal and it is given the reference of the subclass, which is dog here. Hence we say that it is upcasting. In the above example, we have created two classes named animal, which is the super class or the parent class and dog which is the subclass or the child class while creating the object a here we can see that the name of the object is a we have taken the reference variable of the parent class a that means a is of class animal and the object created is of the child class dog that means because we are giving the reference of the child class let us understand this with an illustration. So in the above code, we have created two classes, phone and smartphone. In the above code, we have seen animal and dog, comparing it with the phone and smartphone. The phone is a parent class and smartphone is a child class. The method on to the parent class is overridden inside the child class. So what we have done is we have a phone class and a smartphone class just as that we have animal and dog in the previous slide here we will have phone and smartphone. Both the classes have a method on because both contains this method on. So parent class is having its own on method dis, uh, declared while the child class is also there hence child class overrides this on method inside the main method we have created an object obj 
of the smartphone class by taking a reference of the phone class when the obj dot on method is called so we are calling on method using the object obj which is of the smartphone class it will be executed it will call the on method of the smartphone class because the reference variable obj is pointing towards the object of the class smartphone let us see that with an example so here is an example of dynamic method dispatch so there is a class phone it is having a method show time public void show time which is just printing a message this is 8 am then we have another method on in the class phone and it is printing turning on phone then we have smartphone extends phone that means now phone is the parent class and smartphone is the child class or phone is the super class and smartphone is the subclass it has its own message music which is printing the message playing music here is the important thing that it has its own method public void on so here also there is on and here also this is on but here the message printing is turning on the smartphone so what is done is this on method is overridden in the child class now with this remembrance let us see what happens next so we have created a class dynamic demo static void main we have in this and phone obj so obj is the object of class phone but it is given the reference of class smartphone and yes it is allowed because of the concept of upcasting but if you try to do smartphone obj2 equal to new phone that means a subclass object if it is given a super class reference then it is not allowed because all the methods of the super class are already available in the subclass so we don't need to give this reference now we call obj dot show time so show time is available in the phone class it will print time is atm and then it will we are trying to call this on method using the object obj dot on now phone also have an on method and smartphone class also have an on method the question rises which on method will be called so that will get clear when we will see the output and if we try to write this obj dot music will not be allowed now why it is not allowed because obj is object of the class phone and this class phone have only two methods show time and on it does not have the method music but because it is available in the smartphone even though we have given the reference of smartphone it will not be able to call this music now let us see the output of this code when it is compiled and executed so first it will print this is 8 am now when it says this is 8 am so it is calling this method show time which is available in the class phone but when it is calling this method on it is printing turning on smartphone because here what we have done is here the concept of upcasting is applied and when we are calling this on method so on it will call from the smartphone and this dispatch of the method is done at the run time it is not done at the compile time at compile time it will understand okay there is a call to the method on and class phone also have the method on so at compile time the understanding is it will call the method from the phone class but at run time it executes the on method from the compile time note the data members cannot achieve the runtime polymorphism. So, if 
there is a data member with the name A in parent class or the super class and also we have a data member with the name A in the subclass or the child class in that case it will refer to the data member of the parent class only that means it will refer to the members of phone class but when we are talking about the methods and if a method is overridden then it will refer to the method from the child class or the subclass i hope this understanding is clear my dear friends because it is a very very important concept of dynamic method dispatch where we are trying to call a method which is overridden in the subclass because many a times what happens is we want that something is to be done but it should be done as per the new class created with the help of a super class so in that situation we will use the dynamic method dispatch thank you for watching this video stay tuned for more videos on java programming